Ah, Catwoman, starring Halle Berry, which was released back in July of 2004, and I just got through watching it recently. Now, I heard that this film is god-awful, but I didn't expect it to be this bad. Wow. Totally going outside of the Batman universe and being its own origin story in its own different universe, what could possibly go wrong, right? Huh? Oh, ho, ho, more than you could possibly imagine. One of the first major mistakes that this movie showed was casting Halle Berry not as Selena Kyle, but as Patience Phillips. I mean, come on, if Bruce Wayne existed in this universe they made up, wouldn't he be like, Have you seen Selena Kyle? Where is she? Uh, sorry Batman, there is no Selena Kyle in this city. There's only one person named Patience Phillips. That's kind of like Selena Kyle. There's no Selena Kyle but a Patience Phillips? That's a stupid name for a woman. Yeah, but that is her name, Mr. Cape Crusader. Yeah, it does sound a little corny. Even her cat uniform looks ridiculous, like a cross between a Halloween party and a dominatrix outfit. It doesn't even look sexy. It just uh, looks completely absurd. The villains in this movie are completely ridiculous, too, like Lambert Wilson and Sharon Stone. Since Batman is not a part of this Catwoman universe, they still had to get somebody in to actually portray the love interest of Patience Phillips. Like, for instance, this pretty boy cop, who she doesn't have any chemistry with whatsoever, just comes off as completely ridiculous also. The boyfriend, Tom Lone, was played by Benjamin Bratt. For a movie such as Catwoman, it was pretty obvious that they were casted for their looks, and nothing else. <laughs> and the editing in this film, oh my gosh, it was obnoxious. For example, how much could a woodchuck, chuck could a woodchuck, chuck, wood? That's what the editing was like in this movie. It's like the cameramen had no idea what they were doing when they were shooting this film. So obnoxious. The way that Patience becomes Catwoman in this story is like this. She forgot that this company that she works for has a little package that needs to get delivered. And she's working late. She goes to this company. She sees their evil plans of what they're doing. They chase after her and start shooting at her. Then she gets blown out of a sewage pipe gets thrown onto land, a bunch of cats circle around her, a CGI looking cat starts breathing on her, and that brings her back to life, and she becomes Catwoman. <laughs> the plot for this story is that it revolves around a beauty cream that's supposed to apply to your face, and is supposed to make you uh, just invulnerable, skin turned into living marble or whatever. Uh, but also, the skin cream has side effects which actually uh, cause uh, like this kind of sickness. But of course, Sharon Stone, the villain, has been using it for a long time, so her face is invulnerable. And Halle Berry, as Patience Phillips, has it on a mission as Catwoman to stop this from happening. You cannot relate to the protagonist or the rest of the characters in this film because they're just too one-dimensional and just bland. Especially the crazy cat lady whom Patience goes to see. And my, oh my... They did too many mug shots with her. The climax of the film is also completely ridiculous. Like, Patience and Sherrod Stone's character have this final showdown in the company's attic. The way that it plays out is just too hilarious to watch. Yeah, Catwoman is god-awful, but at least you can laugh at how bad it is. <laughs> I will give Catwoman a 2 out of 10. There was just no potential for a movie being made outside of the Batman universe. Thanks again, as always, for watching, guys. Be sure to hit the link below, hit the like, and click the subscribe button, and I will see you all later.